It's Kona Suba time! Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today we're going to have a look at the Figma number EX63. It's Aqua in the swimsuit version. 63. Hmm. Just a couple of numbers off. This could have been way funny. Anyway, we're going to have another Aqua in here. The Kona Suba line is continuing with swimsuit versions. We got Megumin all the way back. Now we got Accra and recently went up for pre-order, we got Darkness, which was available for a short time, but I couldn't grab one, so I have to wait till like next year, I think. Anyway, I've been waiting on this one for a long time, looks pretty interesting, even though, you know, swimsuits are kind of bland, but it's a lot of fan service, and I feel like they absolutely nailed it with some of the accessories. So, let's have a look at it. Konosubarashi! If you like Figma, and if you like Konosuba, you've come to the right place, so you should definitely subscribe and tune in for more. Getting her to stand is a real challenge, but I actually made it. Look at it! I'm a hero! She stands at about, I don't know what that is. <laughs> 13 and a half centimeters to the top of her head. If you're going to the top of the bun, that would be 14 and a half for your inches. That means we are going up to 5.2 to the head and 5.8 to the bun. Size comparisons. Here's Jolter, SH Figure Arts Son Goku, the regular release Kono Super Aqua, which by the way look very good together to be honest. Metal Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Dark Side. Yeah, I know I call this one a bun, even though it's not really a bun, it's just kind of like her hair twirled up. Overall look and detail of the figure, and isn't it lovely? You couldn't even know that she's a useless goddess that's always whining and crying with this kind of also innocent face sculpt, but I also love it for that because it's very cute. And it does look like it does in the anime. And then you got the hair, has a bunch of detail in it, especially in the back. Like, look at the long strands of hair going down over here. You have the one hair kind of twirl that's going around with the ball in there, which is a lot more shiny than the rest because the figure is mostly in a matte coloring. And then we get to the body sculpt, which is Opai. We got Bobas, which are very nicely done, fairly big. And even like the overall body mode is really nice and detailed. They have like the, the detail on the uh, shoulders over there, like the, um, the neck area. And down to the boobs with the white ribbons on there. And on my copy at least, I can confirm that the paint is clean. I don't have any bleeding and I don't know why my camera's freaking out. Let me zoom out a little bit. But you even have like the small strains in the back which are cleanly painted. Doesn't have any issues with that. Also the white, it looks good overall. Have the arms with the one golden bracelet, which is a lot more in a darker gold. Uh, it is metallic, so that's cool. And then the hips, which don't lie, and uh, have the nice hourglass shape. And the little skirt to hide the goods, which uh, doesn't really do much, but you have the, also the ribbons on the side. And it's Ponsu time, and Jesus Christ, it's not actually Ponsu, I mean, it's just like a swimsuit, but. There's so little fabric in there, that's kind of crazy. I love it. Speaking of which, there's a nicely molded butt, which unfortunately is not molded all the way up. If you're doing that, it's just kind of like, yikes. Eh. Eh. So, I mean, you're not really gonna see it. Well, then again, if you try to make like a pose where she bends over, it's not gonna look pretty. Overall, it's not a huge issue because like I'm saying, usually you will not, will not see that. But also because she has such a big butt, it's kind of hard to rotate the legs around. But we'll get to that once we have a look at the articulation. Has the nice little sandal high heels. Same thing, the white lines on there are cleanly painted and I'm actually very impressed. She has like the very, very small toes also molded on there. And the blue on the lower half. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty clean job. Now for your articulation, as I hope my camera doesn't have trouble, I, I feel like the focus is broken. So, the hat goes back and forth, you have the big hinge in there, as you can tell. It does have a little bit of uh, blocking with the hair, but it does get the job done also tail side to side, because the pack goes into the back of the hat, so that also works very nicely. And it would go all the way around, but because of the hair, it's kind of hard to do that. Also, the hair has like the one hinge in there, which... Uh, doesn't really do much, but I guess, I don't really know, it's kind of like a weird piece, I'm not really the biggest fan of it. Got the double ball combination for your shoulders, you got one ball hinge in the shoulder and another one in the chest area, so you can rotate around and also bring the ball hinge up and down and also swivel it on the ball itself. You got the one ball hinge in the elbow and another smaller ball hinge for your hand, goes up and down and all the way around. The chest area is very nimble, goes all the way around and 
I mean, it doesn't really go that much back and forth, but that's to be expected with the boobs. They could have hollowed it out, but then it wouldn't have looked good, so I'm fine with that. The lower hip part, you can rotate that around over there. You can actually see how it's just uh, like a triangle joint that's packed in at the top, so you can rotate it around and also bring it side to side a little bit. Well, actually, it's more like the top part, but then you got the legs. They do move up fairly nicely. Does move out to the sides and does move to the back. Also, rotation in there somewhat, but not great. Knee goes up and the foot has another ball hinge back forward and does tilt side to side somewhat. It's kind of kind of blocked with this one, but uh, you know, you get a little bit out of it. And now, for arguably the best part of the figure, the accessories, and I'm not gonna beat around the bush, these faces are awesome! Oh my god, I love these two. You got the pouty face and the crying face. This is Aqua, 100%. I especially love this one. Minutes before she, seconds before she cries. And for the hands, you got the standard stuff, holding hand. Kind of like a little bit more open holding hand for, I no, this is like trigger finger for the water gun. And then another one which uh, is more for the staff and another one for the, for the gun. You can see how it's shaped. This one's more rounded, these ones are more rounded. So that's for some of it are for the staff which has the flower on top which is nicely done. Staff is also a lot more shiny, especially like the white part, which is good. I mean it should be like that and you can take it apart. So you just slide it in the hand and you don't have, don't have to uh, break, claw open your hands. You also have a see-through water gun which kind of reminds me of like a like the Saber, like the Ultra Pendragon with the water gun. Kind of something like that. It's just seafood plastic and you also have a little water squirt effect, which is fairly sharp, by the way. Be careful with that. Seafood, blue, a little bit lighter than the gun, so uh, that's fine. And before you even say it, I can hear you in the comments. Do the faces mix and match with the previous release Aqua? So that's why I got her over here. Let's have a look at that face and uh, try to combine it with one of the new faces. Let me have a look at that. Okay, it just goes bye bye, of course. So does it fit? It should. Even if they if they don't do that, then they really screw this up. It's a really tight fit, though. I think it doesn't fit. Ah, it does work. Okay, it goes on there very tightly, but you can mix and match your new faces from this aqua with the previous one. Do I have the wrong hair sculpt or why is this not getting in? Okay, everything is very, very, very tight, but it does work, so kudos. Oh, and of course you also get a Figma base as usual, this time in the blue variety and the Figma back and like kind of a replacement pack for the hands, which is pretty cool. Final thoughts for this Aqua figure and I mean even though it's just a swimsuit figure I would almost say like it's a pass. You don't really have to get it, but But the figure is actually very nicely done. I don't have any trouble with the paint job The articulation works very well, but that's to be expected for a character that doesn't really have anything any clothing So it's pretty basic in that regard but what really turns it around for me obviously I already said it on the face sculpts Yeah, and now you could make the argument of like, well, like Figma is selling different face sculpts by selling us a, different, a completely new figure. Yeah, it's kind of true, but I mean, it's they're not the only company doing those kind of things. So I can't really fault for that. And that's really, for me, the part that gets this figure a uh, must have, if you're a, a Kuno Super fan, of course, because the face sculpts are absolutely amazing and I'm in love with it. Other than that, I obviously am a big fan of fan service as such this figure does tend to my needs and yeah i do recommend this one that's gonna do it guys as usual thank you very much for watching don't forget if you enjoyed this review hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews card game stuff and whatever aqua wants